Good morning, guys. So I woke up to find this. Tavat's Adventures commemorative uh, video travel anniversary letter. Uh, Genjin Impact. So it's been like a year since the game released. And I started playing not too long after it released. And I've been playing faithfully ever since. I go in every day, and sometimes I just run around and explore just to run around and explore. I don't even have to do anything to enjoy the game. But, um... You know, people are saying it's a Breath of the Wild ripoff, and no, it's inspired by Breath of the Wild. There's a lot of stuff in it that is similar similar to Breath of the Wild, but it's it's not quite Breath of the Wild. Um, but we're gonna watch this, so I don't know what it is. I just I just got on. It's like seven forty in the morning. I just got on, so we're gonna see what this is. Traveler, what you staring at? Huh? Same as usual? <sighs> Can you believe it's almost been a whole year since we met? All your adventures this year must have brought you so many precious memories and lots and lots of friends. <gasps> Speaking of friends, it's not just me coming to say hey today. <laughs> it's none other than the shining idol of Mondstadt, Barbara! travel's been going. If I get the chance, I would love to set out on a big adventure with you. Oh, I mean, I'm not as skilled as the others are, but if you got hurt, I'd be sure to bandage you up nice and neat. You can trust me to keep you healed up. And I'll be sure to watch <gasps> your back too. Be sure to let me know if there's anything I can help you with, traveler. You've helped us all with so many things over the past year. The Knights of Favonius and the people of Mondstadt are all so grateful to you. As is the church, and myself as well. We've all been blessed by your assistance. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get to share many more happy times in the days and months to come. Ta-da! <laughs> to commemorate our first amazing year with you, we've collected a bunch of memories. <laughs> What a year of amazing and unforgettable experiences! And the one responsible for bringing us all of these fun-filled adventures was you! Sorry, but Barbara. Barbara, sweet, sweet, sweet Barbara. Um, oh, oh God. So, if, if your girl is blonde, a pop idol and has a notebook. Yeah, that's that's not Barbara. That's fucking Misa. That's her fucking death note. I don't I, I think well actually no, I'm not the only one who's drawn comparison to Misa and uh and uh Barbara. But it's pretty much the same thing, except and they're both they're they're both the same, like personality wise, they're extremely sweet. And they'll do anything for you. Anything for you. Uh, they're both little pop idols, or rather, Misa is more of a model. An idol. You know, people look up to her, you know, because of how cute she is. Uh, she carries around a book with her. Coincidence? I think not. Let us get back to that. Sorry, it's just Amber's Amber's trying so hard just to, to be part of something because you start the game off with her <clears throat> after you get to to Mondstadt, you know, you know, you get there and she she you know joins the party and you have her, but then you replace her real fast. You know, once you get a better pyro user, you replace her real fast and the only time she's really useful is if there's like a puzzle or something where you need an archer or pyro. You know, like pyro puzzles. You know? <laughs> so, um, same thing with Barbara. I mean, I know a lot of people still use Barbara. But, uh, yeah, there's also like this one weird puzzle in Liyue where you have to like make a ice bridge. And there's like this uh, water, 
or a hydro, um, you know, pillar type thing in the water. And she's like the only one who can actually get to it. So you got to build it, you know, use like Kai's build a bridge. And then you got to use Barbara's uh, attack. And it'll, you know, get the, the pyro. Or not the pyro, the electro. Uh, hydro. Because there's another one. Like right next to it. A couple feet away. That's Hydra. Pyro as well. I think you have to use either Jingling or... No, I think, yeah, because you have to, yeah, flip him out, and then he's like, Oof, and he lights it up for you. But, anyways. I have to stop again because poor Xinyan, she is the only character so far who hasn't had a story quest and has not appeared in any kind of quest uh, line at all. You've never come in contact with this girl. Everyone else in the game you've, you've, you've talked to, uh, you've contacted in some sort of way, but they, they just kind of released her and she's never had a quest. She's never had anything so whenever new content gets released obviously memes about her get made uh because everyone else everyone else you have come in contact with you know and <laughs> he's a good boy uh just i don't know why they refuse to put her in her own quest, or have you talk to her in a quest, you know, just have her pop up. She doesn't have to do anything. Just have her in a scene. She's not even in a scene. Um, uh, Hu Tao. That was one of my favorites, because she's she's got a dark sense of humor like me. And hopefully, Halloween, she's gonna get a rerun. Uh, Yan Fei, another one of my favorites. Yan Yu, I'm gonna get ya. Gonna get ya next time you get a rerun. But Jin Yan, every character, if you go in, look at every character we have, every single character has appeared in a quest or some form, except for her. Not to mention, she also kind of sucks as a character, like gameplay was. these memories as much as we do? Amber spent so many days tirelessly working on that. <laughs> yep. I, Alvaro, 
Greater Amber of the Knights of Avonius, in the name of our first anniversary, invite you on more journeys together. In the days and years to come, let's be sure to create even more happy times together and go on even more adventures. Yeah. Our first anniversary is just the beginning. I mm -hmm. hope we can have a second and third and more in the future. <clears throat> May the wind carry our beautiful memories and give us the strength to carry on. <laughs> Happy first anniversary! <laughs> Hi, girls. Okay, so that was pretty cool. I like the stats that they gave at the end. Like, uh... So, like, uh, during the wind bloom, you're supposed to put a flower there, uh, at the little, the, the base of, uh, the statue. And it could be pretty much be any flower. And people would choose... 33.5 uh repeating no uh 33.5 people of uh travelers use that as their wind plane. um what was that about the god damn only 19.7 tra uh percent of travelers cleared the theater of mechanicus on the highest difficulty i know i did i mean i loved the theater of mechanicus and when they brought it back again it's it was great, but then they took it away. This should be a permanent part of the game. It should not be something you take away. 22.2% of travelers did not succumb to sheer cold. <laughs> Dumb mechanic, but... 79.9% <clears throat> of travelers defeated for Fatui Harbinger Child on their first try. I certainly didn't. I think they had to nerf him for the people complaining how fucking hard it was. <laughs> 54.5% of travelers managed to help Vendi obtain the Holy Liar Der uh, Der Himmel without getting caught by the guards. Yeah, I remember I just went in, I just fucking I ran. I don't know how I didn't get caught, but I didn't. It was pretty cool. Uh, what is this one? Midsummer Island Adventure. I missed that already. Seems like it's in distant past already. Out of all the hard past and bombs, Travers crept floaty floaty the most because it was the most effective. I think the, if I remember, uh, the floaty floaty was the AOE one, and naturally, all you had it, it not only was an AOE, it also did a lot of damage. So all you gotta do is gather things up, throw that shit, and everything dies. Um, <clears throat> sorry, still got the morning eye thing going on, so. Uh, What was that last one? 20.9% 20 of travelers drew a fortune, uh, fortune slip in the shrine. Yeah. I mean, I think I got... I don't remember if I got both achievements. Because there's like two achievements you can get from pulling the slips. The slips don't do anything. They just say, they say come back every day for a week. But nothing actually happens. They don't buff you or anything like that. But uh, certain slips will give you an achievement, so that's pretty much. But oh, Jesus, engine impact trailer and out. Outlander is off the wind. 2019. Yeah, you can tell how different it was. And it looks just a tad bit different. But Conrial, Ridley of Genshin Impact Story Teaser, be reunited. Memories. Don't do it, Misa. Don't do it. I know you want to. Poor Amber. Like I said, she's like, oh yeah, if you ever need someone, just come to me. Outrider Amber, the Knights of Pavonius. Like, yeah, yeah. We've got better pyro characters. If we need some, if we need a pyro archer, we'll go to you and me and Al. Poor Amber, she just wants to be part of something. I hear Benny's Adventures Guild is always open to new members. Oh, poor, poor Bennett. They were going to put him in it, but then he, he was walking along and tripped over a rock. And then as he fell, he got in the head with another rock. So. 
No, usually when Bennett gets uh, injured, he has to go to Barbara to, to heal him. Some of that special healing. She's got the magic touch, you know. But yeah, a year of Genshin Impact. It's crazy. It doesn't even feel like it's been a year. It actually feels like it's been longer. I guess because, I don't know, because each month, so for the first few months, there were no updates, obviously, because you're getting people used to the game, you're letting them explore, and in the first three, four months or so, there's enough content to keep you satisfied. And then they started releasing patches, or updates, rather, and it's almost every month there's a new update. So, whether it's a large update or small update, like, we just got one. And then... Do we get another one this month? Wait. Uh, the last update was the releasing of two more islands. And then we still have one more island in Izuma that needs to be released. Uh, from what I've seen from the beta, it doesn't seem particularly uh, fun or nice to look at. But it's an island, it's part of the, the whole experience. Uh, it most likely will be released at the end of the month. Uh, or maybe they're just going to... I mean, because the other two islands that have been released, if you play every day, you've most likely done everything and found everything. <clears throat> so I don't think they would keep you going on the same two islands. Because if you've done everything on those two islands, that means you've done everything in Inazuma so far. So, they want to keep players, you know, engaged. So, but, <laughs> poor Amber. She's so sweet, and no one plays her anymore. In all my travels, in all my time playing this game, I don't think I've ever joined a group with someone actually playing as Amber. You get plenty of Barbers all the time. Uh, I do the child fight every week. I get Barbaras all the time. All the time. Not once have I ever gone into a group and seen an Amber. Because uh, there's just better pyro characters. Anyways. A year in Tevat. Now, I think Tevat's just a continent. Uh, do they say the land of Tevat? So there must be more outside of Tevat. So basically, we've got Tevat, and then it's got all the nations that we know so far. Um, Inazuma kind of being the exception, being off to the side on, you know, in all the islands. But, yeah, when you look at the map, you know that it's, it's not a just a world of Tevat. It's, this is just a small portion that we're seeing right now. So I can't wait to see what else. Of course, it's going to be a while, because they plan on, they already said that They've got, like, a 10-year plan, so... Huh. So we're going to be exploring just this main area that we see on the map for quite some time. But, um... Yeah. So, one year to... Ancient Impact. Congratulations, guys. Some games, especially mobile games like this, hardly even get to a year. And when they do, they... The player base is not nearly as much as it used to be when it first started, but no. Genshin Impact is going strong. Uh, and people are very passionate about this game, which, that's good. You know, like I've said, I don't usually spend money on games like, you know, free-to-play games, but I like the game, I want to support it. You know? Anyways, that's going to do it for me. Don't do it, Misa. I just call her Misa, because that's pretty much what she is. Um, that means the Traveler is light. And he will become the god of the new world. Yeah, pretty close, too. Pretty close. Anyways, that's it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.